Archaeologists have unearthed a 3,300-year-old clay tablet from central Turkey which describes a catastrophic foreign invasion of the Hittite Empire, a mysterious Bronze Age state. The invasion took place during a Hittite civil war, apparently in an effort to aid one of the warring factions, according to a translation of the tablet's cuneiform text. The palm-sized tablet was found in May 2023 by Kimiyoshi Matsumura, an archaeologist at the Japanese Institute of Anatolian Archaeology, amid the Hittite ruins at Buklakale, about 37 miles, 60 kilometers, southeast of the Turkish capital Ankara. Archaeologists think Buklakale was a major Hittite city. The new discovery suggests it was also a royal residence, perhaps on a par with the royal residence in the Hittite capital Hattusa, also spelled Hattusha, about 70 miles, 112 kilometers, to the northeast. According to a translation by Mark Whedon, an associate professor of ancient Middle Eastern languages at University College London, the first six lines of cuneiform text on the tablet say, in the Hittite language, that four cities, including the capital, Hattusa, are in disaster, while the remaining 64 lines are a prayer in the Hurrian language asking for victory. The Hittites used the Hurrian language for religious ceremonies, Matsumura told Live Science, and it appears that the tablet is a record of a sacred ritual performed by the Hittite king. The find of the Hurrian tablet means that the religious ritual at Buklakale was performed by the Hittite king, he said in an email. It indicates that, at the least, the Hittite king came to Buklakale and performed the ritual. Bronze Age Empire Archaeologists think the first Hittite kingdoms formed in central Anatolia, now Turkey, in about 2100 BC and the Hittites had become a major regional power by 1450 BC Hittites appear in the Hebrew Bible, and ancient Egyptian inscriptions record that the Hittite Empire fought them in 1274 BC at the Battle of Kadesh, an ancient city near modern-day Homs, Syria. In one of history's earliest battles, Matsumura and his colleagues have been excavating the ruins at Buklakale for about 15 years. They'd found only broken clay tablets before, but this one is in near-perfect condition. Hurrian was originally the language of the region's Mitanni kingdom, which eventually became a Hittite vassal state. The language is still poorly understood, and experts have spent several months trying to learn the inscription's meaning, Matsumura said. It turns out, the Hurrian writing is a prayer addressed to Tesub, also spelled Tezhub, the Hurrian name of the storm god who was the head of both the Hittite and Hurrian pantheons. It praises the god and his divine ancestors, and it repeatedly mentions communication problems between the gods and humans, he said. The prayer then lists several individuals who seem to have been enemy kings and concludes with a plea for divine advice, Matsumura said. The Hittite empire vanished from history at the start of the 12th century BC. This coincided with the late Bronze Age collapse when many ancient civilizations around the Mediterranean were rocked by unrest. As described by historian Eric Klein in 1177 BC, the year civilization collapsed. Princeton University Press, 2014, the reasons for the collapse aren't known, but they may include famines caused by climate changes. However, the invasion referenced by the newfound tablet doesn't seem to be related. Matsumura said the tablet dates to the reign of the Hittite king Tudhalia II between about 1380 to 1370 BC, roughly 200 years before the late Bronze Age collapse. The tablet seems to come from a period of civil war which we know about from other Hittite texts, he said. During this time, the Hittite heartland was invaded from many different directions at once, and many cities were temporarily destroyed. The new find from Buklakale confirms the pivotal role of Hurrian religious traditions at the Hittite royal court in the early empire period. Daniel Schwimmer, chair of ancient Near Eastern Studies at the University of Würzburg in Germany. Schwimmer, who wasn't involved in the discovery, noted that the find has not been formally published in a peer-reviewed journal yet. But, the new tablet constitutes a very significant addition to our knowledge of Hurrian language devotional literature he said.